and this video is explaining appreciation and depreciation. Now, these types of questions sometimes don't use the words appreciation and depreciation. Um, it's the same method that we would use if you get a compound interest question um, or any question involving a percentage where something's increasing or decreasing um, in value by a percentage amount over a period of weeks or months or years. Um, so sometimes they're a little bit hard to spot. And once once we've um, spotted the question, the formula that we try to use to work these out is this one up here, which is you take the amount that they give you in the question, the original amount that um, the thing is worth or the thing is at, and then you times that by the percentage written as a decimal. And when I say the percentage, what I mean is the remaining percentage. So if something's going up in value, you would add your percentage on to 100. If something's going down in value or depreciating, you take the percentage away from 100, and then you change that into a decimal. And to change a percentage into a decimal, you divide it by 100. And you put that to the power of how long. So if it was three weeks, you would put it to the power of three. If it was five years, you would put it to the power of five. And then you use your calculator to work that out, and sometimes you have to round the answer as well. So here's a couple of examples. This question is another um, depreciation one, but it doesn't actually say that. This is from a, um, last year's exam. It says there's 964 pupils on the roll of Aberlevin High School. Its forecast the roll will decrease by 15% each year. So when you see the increase or the decrease and the percentage, that's when the bell should be ringing if this is really about um, appreciation and depreciation. So every year, um, it's going down by 15%. So 100% at the beginning, take away the 15%, means that every year there's only 85% of the pupils that there were before. The original amount is 964. We times that by the percentage is a decimal, 0 0.85, and put it to the power of how many years? Three years. And then work that out on the calculator. Now this one tells us um, to round it to the nearest 10. So uh, when we work out on the calculator, we get 592.01, keeps on going. So the nearest 10 then, well, hundreds, hundreds, tens, units. So the nearest 10 is um, the 9. So look after the 9, there's a 2. If it's not, if this one's not 5 or more, so the 2 means that the 9 just stays the same. So the nearest 10 to 592.01 is 590. Um, this first one. This one is obvious because it uses the word depreciation, but I'll do an exam question in a second where it doesn't do that. So a car is worth £2,000 new, so that's our original amount, £2,000. It depreciates, so it goes down in value, by 15% each month. So what that means is, originally, you assume that the original amount is 100%. If this is depreciating by 15%, then every month it's only worth 85% of what it was before. So 100% um, is the original. If you take away 15%, you get 85%. So every month it's only worth 85% of what it was the month before. So our original amount is £2,000. We times that by our percentage written as a decimal. So to change 85% into a decimal, divide it by 100. Divide it by 100, you get 0 0.85. And then we put that to the power of how many months this is happening for. And then the question, it tells us four months. So you put it to the power of four. And then you just type that into your calculator. 2,000 times 0 0.85 to the power of four. And we get uh, 1044.012. And it keeps going. Um, and then just double check, make sure you put the right units on and that you round it appropriately. Always write your unrounded answer and then write a rounded version. So this is in pounds. So in pounds, I'm going to change. I'm going to round it to the nearest penny because it's in pounds. It doesn't tell us in the question what to round it to. So £1,044 and 1p. Okay, finally, this is um, another ex past exam question. So in this one, Beth is um, cycling a total distance of 56 miles a week. She increases her distance by 15% each week for the next three weeks. How many miles will she cycle the third week? Um, 
so this is a per this is the same type of question because we've got an increase and we've got a percentage. It's increasing by the same percentage each week. So this one's really appreciation because it's going up in value. So uh, originally, we'll assume that the 56 miles a week is originally the 100%. She's increasing by 15% each week. So we add 15 onto 100 and we say each week she's doing 115% of what she did the week before. So 115% as a decimal, if we divide that by 100, is 1.15. The original amount is 56, so it'll be 56 times 1.15, and then the time period here is three weeks. It makes no difference whether it's weeks, months, days, years, um, as long as it's increasing by the same percentage each time period, then you just put the, whatever the number is as the power. So if we work that out on the calculator we get 85.169. So the question is, how many miles will she cycle in the third week? This one doesn't tell us what to round it to, so I'm just going to round it to the nearest whole number because um, she would, if you were doing this realistically, you would probably just round it to the, the nearest mile. So 85.1 means that um, I'm going to say 85 miles is what she'll cycle in the third week.